Marriage is a sacred institution and an ancient one. It dates back to Genesis 2 where it is part of God's original design in creation. It has endured the test of time and has held special status across every culture, religion, generation, and society. Marriage provides a new environment to share your lives together, to stand together hand in hand, to face life and the world. It's the ultimate commitment to love, trust, and grow with another person. And so this ceremony is a life-changing moment that marks that beginning. Abby, I love you. You're always there when I need you. You're always there when I need someone to give me advice, to listen to me rant about something, or drink mimosas with me. I've seen firsthand how Abby has this incredible ability to connect with anyone she's around. Whether it's striking up a conversation with a stranger or embracing new experiences, Abby's spontaneous spirit is infectious. And I promise to always be there for you in those same ways. I mean, what, what father wouldn't want their daughter to love sports, to love their alma mater like you do, um, to lo have a love for debits and credits like you do? Well, actually, probably not many fathers would want their daughters to have a love for debits and credits, but I am one that does and appreciate that. Um, your love for your family, your desire to have them part of your life and you to be part of their life is something that me and your mom hold near and dear to our hearts. And then lastly, your, your love and faith in Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior, is top of the list. All I can say is only the luckiest of fathers are able to have a relationship with their daughter like I have with you. I'll never forget the first time Abby told me about this guy, Drew. It was the first time that I had really ever seen Abby excited dare I say, slightly giddy talking about a guy. Only catch, before all of this, Abby had decided to move across the country to Arizona. So not long after they started talking, she moved across the country. Tough start. Drew was going out to visit Abby as often as he could, and she was coming home as often as she could. They were making it work, and that's when we knew that this was probably pretty serious. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to carry out today what you originally designed. Thank you for Drew and Abby who have chosen to take this very significant step in their lives. We pray that you will grant them a clear understanding of the commitment that they will be making to each other. Let them quickly discover that two are better than one as they begin a life together, mutually investing in and depending on each other. Thank you for their family and friends who are here to, today to celebrate. Thank you for every relationship in their life that has supported and strengthened and sustained them throughout their lives. And we pray that you will bless this union today in Jesus' name. Amen. In marriage, little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is at no time taking the other for granted. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. Drew and Abby, since you have exchanged your vows before God and these witnesses and have pledged your commitment to each other, it is now my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Drew, you may kiss your bride. Thank you for loving Abby the way that you do, for challenging her in the best ways, and for giving her the life that she's always dreamed of. She's lucky to have you. Drew, we've known each other for entirely too long, approximately 26 years. You're truly the brother I never had. So, me and your mom love you very much. We're just so very, very happy for you on this biggest day of your life. We wish nothing but happiness for you and Drew and your married life together. If I can leave you, Drew, with a few tidbits of advice, as you officially join the family. 
Forget everything else you ever knew about any other college sports team. The answer from here on out is and will always be Michigan State Spartans. Go Green! Go Green!